Hi, today I'd love to share with you a tool that I've been using with some of my clients. I just got off the phone with one of my clients and thought this is a really valuable tool that people can practice and learn from. And it's very important because it's prevalent in our language and the way that most of us speak. This is a tool that somebody gave me a long time ago that I've been practicing quite a bit and it has really changed my relationship to myself. So the word that I would like us to look at, review, is but, B-U-T, not B-U-T-T, <laughs> but in a sentence. And looking at how we can replace but with the word and. So let me give you an example. I don't like this job, but I'm really, really grateful for it. And then I'm going to replace the word but with and. I don't like this job, and I'm very grateful for it. So the difference between the two sentences is when you use but in a sentence, you in some ways negate the first half of the sentence. And in many ways, people use it to negate their feelings because they are uncomfortable with the negative feelings that they feel. And I found this to be true with many of my clients. They'll say, I don't like my job, but I mean, I should just be, and it's usually with the word should in there somewhere, I should just be grateful. Well, you can be grateful for it. And that doesn't disqualify or diminish the fact that you're unhappy with your job. We oftentimes will diminish our negative feelings because they feel uncomfortable or there's a term called spiritual bypassing that I use quite a bit, where in spiritual groups, we tend to think, well, I'm not supposed to be negative, or I shouldn't feel these feelings because I'm supposed to be on this other plane of existence. But what is happening is often those people are bypassing completely the human experience, which is filled with pain and suffering, and there's a realness and rawness to your feelings that we don't want to dismiss. <laughs> and I, was, I almost pulled a should card there. And the word should in equal value to the lesson is something that also is in our language. And that word is a lot of internal pressure. It's a lot of internal pressure placed on us from an external source. I should be this way. I should have these feelings. I should be doing X, Y, Z. I should be a better mom. I should be this. And what happens is we create all this internal pressure. And again, we're bypassing, diminishing, disqualifying what's real and raw for ourselves. I'll challenge you. And I did this with an ex-partner a long time ago to challenge yourself to something that we called a should jar. A should jar could be of equal value to a but jar. <laughs> Every time you catch yourself doing that, uh, disqualifying your feelings, shaming yourself for your feelings, not being real with the negative feelings that come up. Put money in a jar and then save it up and then celebrate. Celebrate that you've caught yourself. Celebrate your win. Celebrate shifting. After I did that exercise with somebody, we were actually able to go on a vacation and that felt amazingly wonderful. And it also was a great reminder. It was such a tool to recognize when we were using those words. And a lot of it was unconscious, most of it is. And if we want to shift our feelings around our own feelings, if we want to create transformation in our lives, it's very important to express all of our feelings. It's okay to have negative feelings. In fact, negative feelings help you understand what good things you actually want in your life as well. So one does not beget the other. A negative response or a negative reaction, you know, there's a lot of emotional energy and history that you can review. It's a teaching. It also gives you the contrast to see what it is that you do want and to send off in law of attraction, they say the rockets of desire. Without the contrast, it's a very hard experience because you wouldn't really know what you do like and what you don't like. And we are in that polarity. We live and exist in the world of duality. So allowing in the negativity, 
Do we want to indulge in it all the time? No, then we're a big complainer and we're not really finding solutions for ourselves. And <laughs> the light is important too. They are both important. I don't want you to disregard either one. Hopefully that is a good lesson for all of us. And please let me know what you think about this by commenting below the video. I'd love to hear your experience with this. Thank you so much.